Yo, what is up guys? Situated here, bringing you guys a basic tutorial on how to make a logo. This is version 2. So in version 2, we're going to introduce the pen tool. And uh, this is this is going to be the basic way to show you guys what, how to use it and whatever. And uh, yeah, and to create your logo, I mean, you really just got to play around and just move things around, make them look sick, and then agree with what you want <laughs> and just fix it up, I guess. And so yeah, so I just you just saw me just randomly connect some dots. I'm just going to show you things you can do when you want to recreate or make your uh, logo or whatever. I'm going to show you things you can do. You can, uh, when you connect them and then you feel like you want to like move it around a little bit, but you don't want to like go uh, control Alt Z and go back or whatever, you can uh, hold control and then click on the path or whatever. And then uh, you click on these, you can see you have these uh, points where all you, uh, I guess you stop that or you click that or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, you can hold control, click on it. And then you can move it around. Uh, you can move that point individually around, and you can also click on multiple points by holding Control, clicking on it, and then also while still holding Control, clicking on uh, holding Shift, and then clicking on other ones, and then uh, clicking on a uh, point, and then you can move it around like so. Oops. Then you can move it around, let go of Shift, and then hold Control still, and you can move those points around only. So uh, yeah, that's just things that you should know how to do. You can also make a different point. So if you hold Control again. Uh, bring up the points and then uh, on the on the line and just add a point you can hold control again and uh, You can uh, I guess curve it a little bit or put it in or curve it and uh, You can also hold alt and it basically curves around where the point was made So why uh, yeah, there's just some things you should learn uh, you should know that you can do so why uh, yeah So we're just gonna like I guess make a uh, some weird shape does this work it could work if I fix it alright so we're gonna hold control click on it and uh, yeah let's just work around it or work with it not work around it um alright I'm liking this I'm guess I'm like I'm liking this and you guys are like what the hell are you talking about what I'm gonna do is bring this into symbol 4d duplicate it and then put it on the bottom and have these like two little line whatever these things you can call them so uh, let's say you're done and you finished and you uh, finally finished your amazingly 30 minute to an hour like figuring out what you want your logo to look like and you came up with something like this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, export it now out of Photoshop. I think I showed you guys how to do this on my uh, other one. If not, then whoops. So uh, you're going to file, export, path to Illustrator. And then you have your path. It's going to say work path. So you're going to press OK. Yeah, we're gonna name it tutorial version two, even though I spelled tutorial wrong there. So uh, whatever, we're gonna go into Photoshop. I mean Cinema 4D, and then I already have this Lightroom up. So you should also have a Lightroom up. If you don't have a Lightroom, simply just use these lights and just put them around in like the formation that this guy did. Uh, it's not my Lightroom. I mean this is my Lightroom. It's in my uh, part one and uh, of my model pack. As you see, I just did like these six lights. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna open uh, the thing up, oh, the AI. This is tutorial version two, it's horribly spelled. And then change the scale to one. If it's not already one, press OK. And then we're just gonna drag the uh, whatever we did into Symbol 4D and put it into scene. So now uh, we're gonna make it 3D. We're gonna go to here and then extrude nerves and drag this in. And then now it's in 3D. Pretty simple, pretty simple, right? Right? So uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some caps on it to make it look smooth. So we're gonna go fill a cap, and we're gonna change this to about four. Change this to about two. Change this to about two, four. So uh, it makes it a little bit more smoother, I guess, and it makes it look better. So people are gonna be like, you should add caps to that, and you'd be like, what are you talking about? That's what they're talking about. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get out of this camera view, and duplicate this. Control C V, like I said. I'm just gonna pull it down and make it look somewhat like this. This is exactly what I'm going for. Okay. So uh, all right, um, we're gonna go here and just move it around. You can play around with it. You can go back into Photoshop, fix the corner up if you wanted to fix like this corner up, and I guess I don't know, just add something like add a point and then fix it up. You can do that. I mean, it all depends on you. This is gonna just be a base tutorial, and uh, yours should be take time of I guess since people are gonna be looking at it. So uh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do something like this. See what I'm trying to go for, guys? See what I'm trying to go for? Somewhat, somewhat. 
All right, so we're going to group these objects together by just shift clicking, right clicking, and then group objects. So we're going to call this logo. And uh, traditionally, I'm going to multi multiply it, I guess. And we're going to duplicate it. And we're just going to leave a little bit of space and duplicate about five times. Whoops. Uh, here. Whoops. Again. Jesus. C. Control C. Control V. Control C. And Control V. And there we go. Duplicate about five times. Looks good. And uh, I'm going to put into play my uh, tutorial that I did whenever I did it. I mean, it should be up by now. And uh, we're going to go to Effector. Random. We're going to do the ripple effect. I don't know if it's going to show on this, but we'll see. We'll change these. I have a tutorial on this, so if I'm going a little bit too fast, then sorry. And uh, object, no. Grab these. Group them together. Grab that, put it in there. And random. And I uh, really didn't do anything but just like cut the edges, which I'm fine with. Looks good to me. And uh, yeah. All right, so we have this. So uh, this, I guess you guys are going to be here with your logo. And you're going to be like, hey, what do I do? I mean, if you duplicate five times, I guess we can just, uh, we can take the middle logo or the middle one and uh, break it with the Rassi, I guess. So we're going to plug into the Rassi. You can find the Rassi and just simply look it up on YouTube how to get the Rassi. And it's super easy. We're just going to break these two, like 30 pieces. And this is going to take a little bit, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. All right. Oh no, no hit dips, no hit dips, no hit dips. Um, and we're gonna check these two boxes, and uh, we're gonna highlight both of them like they are. And go to Effector, random, and boom. Look at that. It's like a cool effect, I guess. You can just, you can honestly, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do this. But I'm just throwing in some things you can do to make your uh, logo look more better, I guess. So we're just gonna go to the scale tool, or whatever, and just throw it in, in, put it in a little bit, so you don't really see as much of the effect. And, uh, oh, Jesus, my camera view is just popping over everywhere. So, uh, yeah, we're basically done right now. We're just going to add a couple more things. We're just going to add color to this part. So, uh, I'm just going to go here, and this is the logo. And we're going to add some color. We got these materials, yeah. We're going to add, uh, we're going to add this color. And then, okay. So, my Therese, I'm just going to add the, uh, you know, cut the insides and just try and duplicate the same color that we did for the logo, but uh, have the actual the Rassi. We're gonna color that is white, meaning I'm gonna drag that over here, drag that here, but have the insides this color. So I'm gonna try and duplicate this color. So I'm gonna go to cut inside, and we're going to go ahead and click on this, choose screen, and use this color, and we're gonna press OK. Luminance. We're gonna change this to about 10. Uh, go to reflection, change about five, and put the glow object soft glow. Where are you? There you are. And then change this to about twenty five. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do this for the same one, the other cut inside. I did this on my other one, so you guys, if you guys don't know what I'm doing, go watch my first basic tutorial. This is part two, so we're gonna be moving a little bit faster because I already showed you how to do this. So uh, yeah, luminance five, no, luminance ten. What am I doing? What am I doing? And then object soft glow or soft shadow, Jesus, 25, 25, and exit. And so we have the uh, similar color to whatever this color is. And uh, basically put it as a glow for like these little cut insides you're going to see in the final render. So how long is this? Let me find out. Let me see. Let me see. Nine minutes to ten minutes. Cool. So I'm going to end it off at ten minutes probably. And uh, this has just been Cinema 4D part of uh, how to make your basic logo and it's pretty pretty easy like I said in my second part I'm gonna start off in Cinema 4D you're obviously gonna see the final render at the end of the video basically you're just gonna see what we did just now but in uh, the second part we're gonna start in Cinema 4D Cinema 4D <laughs> and then we're gonna render it in a different way so it's gonna be called a cell render and it's gonna be look pretty sick so uh, what it's basically gonna have when you wanna render it out you just wanna have your output uh, 19 by 20 by uh, 1080 and then current frame and then you want to go to save, PNG, and alpha channel, and then save whatever you want to save it. And I'm going to save it here and call it tutorial v2, or spell really bad, 
And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have these on it. I'm probably not gonna have these because this is the Lightroom. So if you want, if you want my Lightroom that I have right here, go to my uh, Model Pack version one and uh, download that and get my Lightroom. And this is what that is right here. So you have all these checked over when you're uh, rendering. And uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So uh, yeah. so when you render that, you're just gonna render it. I'm not gonna render it in that camera view. I'm gonna render it probably in this camera view. Yeah, look at that. Boom, rendering in that camera view. So when this is rendered out, you're gonna see the ad in the end of the video. So uh, I'm gonna end the video here, and uh, we're gonna start off right here, basically, and uh, so you're gonna render it in two other different ways, and yeah. So uh, I'll see you guys later. This is SOHQ giving you guys a base tutorial version two. Peace.